Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, white uh, small uh, circle with the center Q is fully confined uh, in a bigger uh, circle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, uh, these uh, centers O and Q are uh, collinear. In other words, uh, they are in the very same line. And furthermore, we got this uh, code uh, AB that is uh, tangent to this uh, smaller circle at this point uh, P. And this uh, code uh, AB is uh, one unit long. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And since we are dealing with these uh, two circles uh, with the different uh, radii, and the center for this uh, larger circle uh, is uh, O, let's assume the radius uh, of this uh, larger circle is uh, uppercase R, whereas the center for this uh, smaller white circle is uh, Q. Let's assume that this uh, radius of this uh, smaller circle is lowercase r then the area of this uh, larger circle is going to be pi r square where uppercase r is the radius of this uh, larger circle whereas uh, pi r square is the area of this uh, smaller circle where this uh, lowercase r is the radius uh, of this uh, smaller white circle and now let's make an observation. We can see that the yellow shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of this big circle minus the area of the smaller circle. And we know the area of this big circle is going to be pi times uppercase r square by using this formula of the area of the circle. And likewise, the area of this uh, smaller circle is going to be pi times uh, lowercase r uh, whole uh, square by using this uh, another area of the circle formula. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. The bigger circle area turns out to be pi r square where r is uh, uppercase r, whereas this uh, small circle area is uh, pi r square where radius is lowercase r. So therefore our yellow region area is going to be equal to, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks, so pi times uppercase r square minus pi times lowercase r square. And here we can see pi is in common, so I can factor that one out. So this could be written as pi times uppercase r square minus lowercase r square. So thus the yellow region area is represented by this expression pi times uppercase r square minus lowercase r square. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and connect uh, this uh, center Q with this uh, point of tangency P, as you can see in this uh, next uh, step. And now we can see that this uh, QP is the radius uh, of this uh, smaller circle. So therefore, I'm going to label this uh, radius as uh, lowercase r. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees, as you can see in this uh, given diagram. And here we can see this is our radius and this is our uh, tangent line. So no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees. So therefore, our this uh, angle uh, QPB is going to be 90 degrees. Since this uh, QP is our radius and this uh, AB is our tangent line. And here's our next step. I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular OC on this uh, tangent line uh, AB, where O is the center of this uh, larger circle. And now let's make an observation. We can see both of these uh, angles are uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, both of these lines, uh, OC and QP, are uh, parallel. So therefore, if uh, this uh, QP is uh, lowercase r, 
then this uh, OC length is going to be lowercase r as well. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius bisects the chord. So therefore, we can see that this perpendicular OC is going to bisect this chord AB into two equal parts. If this whole AB length is 1, then this uh, AC length uh, is going to be half of that one that is going to be 1 divided by 2 and likewise uh, CB length is going to be 1 divided by 2 as well. And now let me go ahead and connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, A as you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see this uh, OA is the radius of this uh, larger circle and we know the radius uh, of the larger circle is uppercase R. So therefore this is going to be uppercase R. And as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, OCA. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle OCA whose uh, side lengths are lowercase R, 1 divided by 2 and uppercase R. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our longest leg, the hypotenuse is uppercase r. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. We got a as our lowercase r square plus uh, b is 1 divided by 2 whole uh, square equals to uppercase r whole uh, square. Let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. So we got lowercase r square plus 1 divided by 4 equal to uppercase r whole square. Let me go ahead and move this uh, lowercase r square on the other side. So therefore we got uh, uppercase r square minus uh, lowercase r square turns out to be equal to 1 divided by 4. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number 2. And here we are ended up with these equations 1 uh, and uh, 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see the yellow region area is pi times uppercase r square minus lowercase r square. And in equation 2, our uppercase r square minus lowercase r square value turns out to be 1 divided by 4. So therefore, I am going to replace this part by simply 1 divided by 4. So therefore, our yellow region area turns out to be pi times 1 divided by 4 and that could simplify as pi divided by 4. So thus the yellow shaded region area turns out to be pi divided by 4 square units and in terms of decimal this is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.79 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.